Alright guys, what's up? Uh, I thought I'd shoot a uh, quick video on how to vent your tires. Uh, up in New England, you know, we have a lot of um, rain, snow, water, all kinds of uh, stuff to get inside of the uh, tires. So, Brand new set of a 4S, uh, 4S Minikawas. Well, I have to, but I had to get two more due to, uh, due to probably not venting my tires. How about that? Okay, excuse me. Okay, so... You don't have to go super extreme with the uh, the tape like I do. Um, I use Gorilla Tape to put over the hole that everybody pretty much uses. But I also just throw a little, little glue on it too. So pretty much just alcohol and you want to clean your your inner hole in the tire just to get any kind of residue that could be on there um, so you want to do both holes there's a couple ways to do this because some some of you might not have the uh, stuff I'm using I'll, I'll, I'll give you a kip couple ways here um, so start off by cleaning the inner holes with alcohol and you want to let that dry <clears throat> and you want to get your tape okay So, just get a little piece of tape off. Doesn't have to be uh, huge. I like to use uh, as as many flat edges as I can. So, I'm gonna actually cut the top off. And I have OCD, so it's got to look like a perfect square and go on straight and the, the whole nine. It's not great to have it. And then I'm also going to cut that piece and about, this is about the width you're going to use my tires are with the offset tires um, it's uh, it's pretty simple to do so pretty much you know get that started your alcohol is drying I go ahead and grab my glue. By the way, guys, pick this up. It's called Starbond Flexible Medium Thick High Performance Glue. It is an instant adhesive. I really got really want to recommend this. Okay. It's got to be the best glue you can glue your tires on with by far just because it's not just stuck and permanent it's flexible now I got this from uh, Kevin Kevin Tabal he's been using it ever since uh, 
paid super glue. And um, you don't see many of his tires uh, come unglued, so. And neither have any of mine. The Gorilla Tape has never even come off yet on the inside. And that's through water, through snow, through, through everything. So you just want to cut yourself a little piece. The other one back. I only have to do two right now, so. And then I like to take a pair of needle nose pliers and uh, grab it. Just so I don't like getting any glue on myself. Um, I mean, it's coming out all messed up. It's not coming out from the top, so I'm picking it up through the sides here. But I like to just go around the outside edges. with the glue and it'll spread a little once we put it in and then you're looking for hope you could see the, the center the light the hole inside the inside the wheel there's two holes in every wheel so then you're gonna take your tape with your super glue or just Gorilla Tape, whatever you choose, and you're gonna stick it over that hole. Okay, now I got a little extra coming out, extra glue coming out, so take my alcohol and clean it off. Okay, now that is set right over, there we go right over the hole piece of gorilla tape there okay now there's two holes so we're gonna cut another piece of tape does not have to be humongous by any means the only point of this is to block the hole from water entering your foam and your wheels will last 10 times longer if they don't comment and ask me uh, you have noticed that they went faster. I have never heard it. So we can have a discussion about it. Okay, so we have both holes taped on both sides of the wheel now. I'm just gonna do the other one while this is all out. side because I'm crazy and have OCD and it wasn't a perfect square okay and now you're gonna cut off your next piece for your other rim I already cleaned both rims with alcohol And the first set I did, I, I didn't add the super glue. This is new. You can always get it off. It's not like it's going to be stuck permanently on there. Okay, and we grab our needle nose. And install. Okay, so we'll take this hole here, and we're going to cover that, wipe 
wipe off our little extra. Okay, our last one here. And then we're going to move on to the next step. So, our last little square. Throw out the rest of the tape. off my sticky fingers here. And then we're gonna grab our needles. Add some super glue. That's the only thing. The super glue is great. Doesn't dry out. It just I kinda messed up the the tip. And they come with great, um, they come with great small tips also. Um, ones that you can really get into the crack of your tire with. Let me get those. Let me show you those. Where's the jacket? Okay, right here. Yeah, guys, they come with these too. Can you see that? Put that right on the end of it. And then it's super small. Great for any size tire. Let's get this on there. Make sure it's straight. Okay. So we have blocked our holes. We're protecting our foam. But stuff could get into the tire any other way guys even just doing that is better than having that open hole now you could go with two holes you could go with three holes four holes it it prevents ballooning a lot um, if you have a tire that's, uh, you know, super balloons, you can go with more holes. If you have a tire that's like barely balloons, you could even block two holes and put one in. But now we're going to be taking out and putting holes in the outside of the tire. Now, this is the correct way with a drill and a razor blade now this is quarter inch copper brake line I cut a piece off and um, I'm going to show you how to sharpen it and use it if you don't have done with a straight drill just drill it out because um, you're not going to hurt your foam at all and also you're going to pull the rubber out of the tire so you take your razor blade you want to kind of put it at a 45 and you want to sharpen you want to sharpen your piece of copper ends up looking like that now, when you're done cutting your copper, I've been using this one for, I'd say this is my ninth set of tires. I've been using the same piece of copper. This is just another piece that uh, I have cut off. So when you start, it kind of just looks like, you know, a regular copper line. There's thickness to it. And uh, I will use this one next and start sharpening it up. But as you see, as you sharpen it, you kind of make a nice tip. Now I'm going to show you why you sharpen it and why you use copper line. All right, so we're going to go the best spot from directly under the hole you taped, which is right here in the center of the tire. Going to drill lightly goes through pulls out now this is why the copper wire is so great 
What do you see stuck in the end of the copper wire? That's the piece of rubber you just took out of the tire. It doesn't get stuck in the tire. It gets stuck in your nice copper tubing. And you know you didn't touch your foam because you had a straight piece of copper. I mean of tire. There's no foam there. I didn't hurt anything. This is why the copper line is the better the best way. And it's a beautiful simple circle hole in the tire. Now Okay, you, uh, you're going to get, now you're going to get stuff into your tire. But when you give your car a bath, um, if you didn't do this and you left these holes open, the water's just going to seep into your foam, get waterlogged, unbalance your tires, and there's nowhere for it to escape. Yeah, you could try to dry it out or do this or that, but doing things like this, you can go outside, wash your car, come inside, plug in your battery, hit the throttle, and just watch the water shoot out of the tire. Completely dry, just a couple pulls of the trigger. So I'm gonna just do, uh, since these are 4S low pros, I am only doing two holes directly above my uh, tape job. Perfect every time. So now number one tire done you start to notice you know your drill bit uh, your uh, you know your pushing shouldn't be it shouldn't be a hard push to get this done if you are pushing hard into a tire sharpen up your bit take that take that um, razor blade Put it on a 45. And whichever, whichever way your bit's going, obviously it's going clockwise right now. You want to go against that. And sharpen it up. And like I said, I've been using this bit. I, this is my first bit I ever used and I'm still using the same piece and it's a craftsman crappy drill like I'm not as high as it goes that's full throttle so I mean if you have a better drill so I'm going directly above the tape nice big spot right in the center That's it. And every time you're guaranteed to pull out that rubber. So one more and we're all done. Find the tape, go above the hole. That's all there is to it guys. So, and other ways are, I've seen a hot soldering iron go in slightly. You do not want to mess with your foam. That's with me covering the holes. You can hear the air come right out. Now I'm taped both on the inside. One, two, hands over holes. You 
Done. Best way to make your tires last longer. Uh, I mean, matters how hard you bash. I mean, you can get some sidewall, some sidewall cuts, and I run three holes in my 6S tires. Foam's a little bit thicker, but Gorilla taped up, and this is the first, these are the first ones I ever did. And I've had these for about, I've had these tires for over a year. Okay. I've had them over a year. They do get in rough shape on what you hit, curbs, anything in here, but that glue, I'll show you a tire that was pretty hurt. That glue will save your life and your tires a little longer. Look at this tire. That's all Starbond glue. I used to be able to pull it back. Just a little bit off its position. Now, it don't go nowhere. It's flexible. It's glued. And you could just you could just add to it anytime you feel like it. So that is eight set of tires that are <clears throat> you know what? Let's show them give you an example. I just got these from somebody. They got their two holes in them, but they are not vented on the outside. So what happens when you don't vent your tires on the outside? You see how they, uh, it's almost like dry rot on a real tire. Can you see that? Cuts in there. Eventually, after you have your tires for so long, that water has nowhere to go. It starts to eat the rubber, starts to eat the rim, and definitely eats the tire. But yeah, that's what that's what it sounds like when you're you're pushing air. Mind you that this is a Traxxas three by five tire. And look how much longer it takes to blow back up. As to a bigger six S tire. should have did freaking I should have put a tire that wasn't vented I should have put the same tire on it that wasn't vented and showed you the difference in ballooning shit that would have been good um shit I gotta do it on the same tire you know what I'll vent these later I will vent these tracks they're old Traxxas T-Max tires. I believe they're from the classic. I got the vintage too. These are the vintage T-Max tires. Yet again, these aren't vented either. Two holes, yep. Yeah. Um, some tires already come stock vented. The, uh, okay, the Schumachers don't, but, um, these, uh, clay tires I have for my, um, RB6.6 Ultima. It, that, I didn't do that. They did that. I'm telling you guys it's for a reason. And there's no holes on the... 
no holes on the inside of this tire. So it's strictly going to spray stuff out. That's why, actually there is holes on, no, is there a hole? Yeah, there is holes on, on the inside of the tire. So you always want to tape the holes on the inside. If you think, yo, I'm going to leave holes on the outside and on the inside, you're just being counterproductive. You're um, taking in water and expelling water. So why not uh, stop water and just expel water? So don't take in water. Just uh, shoot it out. But yeah, those are stock vented tires. So, that's it guys, uh, I'm going to throw these on the 6S, and the mailman just came with my, uh, well, alright guys, that's enough with that, uh, to be continued, I'm going to start tearing down, uh, my 6S. But this is Chris Labash. Please like, subscribe, subscribe. I got like a hundred thousand views, but guys, it, the videos aren't gonna stop coming. So subscribe. Nitro car is coming. It's getting warmer. Subscribe. Uh, uh more money. Subscribe. I'm always getting new stuff. I'm trading. Trading stuff. I got the Kyosho RB6 build. I got the old school RS4 Porsche build. Look at this sucker. Yeah, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a badass machine. Four wheel drive. Get some drift tires for. Her. Belt driven, two speed. It's warming up, guys. T Max. Bigfoot. Rollers. I don't stop. Stay at home, pops. Just trying to make ends meet. Um, subscribe. Send me videos you want me to make. Um, you know, I'm down for anything. I got a lot of tricks. Uh, send me, uh, how to make your slash, um, corner better, not roll over. I got a trick. Send me your drag cars that you want to sit on the ground. I uh, got a trick. Um, just need you guys to subscribe, man. We need, I need some numbers. Or else, you know, I'm doing this for fun. It is fun, but like, I want I want to go to the next level. So I'm just gonna keep on keep on plugging away, and uh, you know, the weather is changing. Extra hour of daylight. Now it's bashing time. So let's go break some stuff. Uh, this is Chris Labash. Comment like. Subscribe. All right, you guys watch my stuff, but you gotta, you gotta, gotta get into it, cause uh, it's just gonna get better and better. I'm, you know, I'm learning it. Got great, great comments and ideas and things that you can do, but you gotta subscribe or. It's just going to be lazy, fun videos that, you know, no one wants, everybody wants to watch, but no one wants to, you know, get together and go bash and uh, get together and drag and uh, drift and whatever you want to do, man. I, I got all the cars to do it, so, so uh, subscribe, like, comment, Chris Labash. L E B A S H. All right, guys, check you later.